are now looking at one of our least favorite cars of 2021, the Renault Kaiga Intense Automatic in Moonlight Silver. And in these weird little videos, we like to tell you extremely random things, like the fact that down here in Southern Africa, the Kaiga now comes with a dreaded CVT box of many revs, no gears, and lots of noise. So, surely it can't get any worse, right? Oh yes, yes it can. Believe it or not, the Kaiga can be had as a manual, this Xtronic CVT, or heaven have mercy on all of our souls, an automated manual transmission. In principle, this device is the basis for the much overhyped DCT type of boxes, as they use twin clutches and a supremely clever robotic system to seamlessly shift gears for you. But the automated manual transmission, or AMT for future warnings, is a cheap, rudimentary robotic manual gearbox. Its defining feature is incredibly lengthy shifts of the random and unpredictable type, which we vividly remember from negotiating a long steep hill in a Renault Quid AMT. Think of it as someone else changing gears for you, but instead of doing it with the amazing experience of a well-programmed automatic, never mind the smoothness of a true auto, there's a mechanical gremlin who operates the clutching gears on your behalf, like a drunken passenger on a crazy student night. We guess it's a viable alternative for someone who can't or prefers not to drive a manual Kaiga, but then we would rather champion this CVT model. Pardon all the explanations, but CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission, which uses a system of belts to create infinite gears and noise. Renault says that this one has five gears, but we can tell you that they are merely simulations. More importantly, it is a true auto. There are no unexpected gear changes of the next snapping variety, nor will you look down at the gear lever and yell, now Gremlin, now. Instead, you get lackluster starts and what feels like a single, never-ending rubbery gear, because that's essentially what it is. Need more speed? Here, have more revs. Petrol heads tend to hate this Cogless CVT, but we always hasten to explain that it's the most efficient way of getting power to the wheels. And in the case of this Kaiga, you can always opt for a manual if you like. This fact is very endearing to us, after the confusion of why they would build two differently terrible types of automatic transmissions as well. The Kaiga itself also has a few problems, in our humble opinion, but let's just treat it as that, an opinion. Compared to his latest relative, we would definitely recommend the latter. The Kaiga's ridiculously large and scratchy cubbyhole might just be the perfect size for someone's handbag. And who knows, perhaps there's a buyer out there who actually hates cup holders and instead requires a handful of shallow and odd-shaped cabin trays. Oh, and mood lighting. Another highlight we quickly want to throw into this review is the fully digital instrumentation. Yes, part of the gauges are a screen which you can even customize by choosing one of the Kaiga's well-defined drive modes. This is a superior feature to its aforementioned cousin, although the main dial needle vanishes during mode transitions. And while we're poking holes in this electronic cluster, both these vehicles have an absolutely nerve-wrecking coolant gauge. That blasted display is made up of quite a few, um, white bars, but works its way to within one increment of the danger zone. So how will you ever know if the engine is starting to overheat? You won't. It'll just melt. Speaking of which, Renault's 1.0-litre three-cylinder turbo petrol engine puts out remarkable numbers for its size. 74 kilowatts equals 100 horsepower or 160 newton meters. But most of these peak in the higher RPM range. And peak is probably the right word, as this engine's power delivery graph surely looks like the silhouette of a mountain range. The CVT manages to disguise some of this lumpy forward momentum, so we imagine that the clumsy AMT will produce some proper bucks and jolts in combination with this motor. Back in everyday suburbia, the Kaiga CVT has most of what modern buyers require, a fair amount of mid-range grunt to pull you along. Highway driving, overtaking or full throttle antics are not its strength, although we did record some decent performance figures. Our best 0 to 100 km an hour time was 11.33 seconds, which isn't bad for a tiny 1 litre Turbo City SUV with a toothless transmission. Renault doesn't publish performance figures or a top speed for the Kaiga. 
During performance testing, we topped out at 145 kilometers an hour. So a conservative estimate would be about 160 with bleeding ears. Stopping from 100 kilometers an hour took 3.5 seconds and 48.84 meters, which is below par for the segment, but okay-ish for a budget beater. The affordable MRF Wanderer tires might be to blame. Handling is, um, well, interesting. The Kaiga quickly produces substantial body lean because its suspension is set up mostly for comfort, rough roads and wheel articulation for that odd bit of off-roading. Hence, we should forgive it leaning over and squealing its cheapy tires, but have to caution younger drivers not to overdo it. You do get four airbags, stability control and ABS brakes with EBD, but strangely no traction control. Mind you, that's utterly superfluous in a 1.0-litre CVT car. What we're trying to say is that Renault has put in as many electronic helpers as they could at this price point, but the car's tires and suspension will not put up with silly driving antics for very long. And there you have it. In our often irrelevant opinion, you can get better value and technology elsewhere. But we will concede that this Kyger is a funky looking machine with good ground clearance, loads of cool goodies and some bizarre features. So, if you really want a gearless Indian-made French car, which has barbed wire on the steering wheel, rather inaccessible front seat belt catches, completely functionless interior door handles, or hoots every time that you close a door, this one costs around 300,000 bucks. Earplugs and gloves not included. <laughs>